Shalom, it's Tehila from the Kifar, and this is the last video of a three-part series on Zoom tips for classroom management. In this video, we are going to cover the last of the two tips that I want to share with you. This is not an exhaustive list by any means, so these three videos cover eight tips just showing you different tools and settings on Zoom that are really good to know about. It's by no means an exhaustive list, uh, so there's definitely a lot more that you can do with it and a lot more to learn. But but this is a really good starting point and these tips that I've covered in the first two videos and that I'm about to cover in this one will definitely help you when it comes to managing your virtual classrooms okay so okay. other settings that you will want to keep in mind are for the share option so next to the share there's this little carrot button here and when you click on that you'll want to go to advanced sharing options and then you can set your options here. And so I want to draw your attention to the sharing option, the second sharing option that says who can share, only host or all participants. And so again, this will depend on your classroom, your classroom needs, you know your students and your classes. So determining whether or not screen sharing is something that only you want to have the ability to do or whether you also want students to be able to share their screens. If you don't want students to be able to share documents or you allow them to, but they start sharing things that are not relevant or not appropriate, then you can change your settings to only host. Okay, so once you've selected that setting, I also, I want to actually go back to the sharing so you can see other settings that you should be aware of uh, and know how to manage. So if we go back to the whiteboard, whatever you wrote earlier or throughout the session as you write on the whiteboard, it will be saved on the whiteboard until the end of your session, unless you erased it. So here, our welcome message is still here. So we're just gonna navigate to the eraser and then just click on the text box and it will erase the text box. And if you look at the menu that pops up, if you click on those three dots that say more, you have the option to disable attendee annotation or show names of annotators. So just like you can draw on the board or type in text or anything like that, your students will be able to as well. You might want them to, you might not want them to. So if you do not want students to have the ability to annotate, to draw or write anything on the screen, then you're going to select the disable attendee annotation option. And again, you don't have to decide this from the very beginning, but if you find that you're in a class and students are just scribbling all over the board and you can't get them to stop, this is a super simple solution. You just disable the annotation and they won't be able to write anything anymore. If you do want students to be able to annotate and you want to know exactly who's writing what at what time, which is helpful if you have multiple students working on the board at once, then you'll select the option to show names of annotators. And then with every stroke, you'll be able to see, it'll say in this case, the test student, you'll see the name of whoever it is that's writing. So if you have multiple students that are maybe circling objects on a picture that you are showing or they're practicing writing letters, like in this example, you'll be able to see exactly who's writing each stroke as they do it. Okay, so as always, thank you for watching Toda Latsfia in Hebrew. And if you have questions about Zoom or other platforms or resources for teaching language online, definitely reach out to me. If there are other videos that you would like to see on specific topics, feel free to send me an email or you can leave a comment below. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and on all other social media platforms. The information is in the description. And I will see you next time for the next video. Lehitraot. Bye.